All hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. All right, so today I am back with something different for you guys. I wanted to hit you off with a first impressions. I wanted to give you guys my first take on a fragrance that I've been searching high and low for. So as you guys may recall back in, I don't know, maybe October, November, whenever I did my winter fragrance list, the fragrances that I was going to be searching for this winter, I finally found it. I found one of them, man, and it's been really hard to find it. I've been searching on all types of websites looking for it, but, oh yeah, I finally got it. And just in the nick of time, man, because winter's almost over. So, what am I talking about? The fragrance I have comes from Sephora. I don't know, man. So I went into Sephora today with my wife. Um, went to Saks as well. Look, man, I'm like this close to pulling the trigger on some things. Like, I'm like this close. Like, if I was in there a little bit longer, let me say, if I would have went there first, this would this wouldn't have happened. I mean, maybe it would have. I'm not sure. But that's not what you guys care about. So what you care about is what we talk about here today. And this fragrance comes from Sephora, and it is from. If you guys are smart, you already looked at the title. <laughs> This one comes from the house of Mason Margiela, or Mason Martin Margiela, I don't know. However, whatever, Triple M, motherfucker. This is another replica fragrance, and this one is called Music Festival. Now, if you guys are new to the house of replica, pretty much as the name states, they try to go through and replicate different times, man. They Pretty much, there are fragrance interpretations of things that happen in your life, man. Like, by the fireplace, extremely, 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 extremely dope fragrance. You guys know how I feel about that one. I gave that one a 10 out of 10. You know, that's the one you spray on, you want to color up. It smells like you're just by a fireplace or by a campfire. Job well done. There's also Jazz Club. Now, I've never been to a jazz club, but if I had to think about what a jazz club would smell like, it would be that, man. It's great. It's a really nice fragrance, I love it. Um, I need to wear it more, I need to go and reach for it. But this one, Music Festival, is one that really caught my eye. So when I saw it pop up, bing, this is a new one, this is a new one, man. I was searching high and low for it. I had one of my subscribers send me a picture on Snapchat kind of bragging that he had it and I didn't have it and I've been looking for it, now I have it. So I actually heard that this one was available in um, Sephora the other day when we were doing the sax vlog, my wife and I be went in there. I didn't really see it though. You know, I, I did other things, man. I saw it there, but I didn't really like have time to really dive into it. But we went back today. You know, my wife got some more stuff. I got this. And this here is music festival, man. I really am excited about this fragrance. Now, before I open this up, man, when you think about a music festival, what do you think about? What comes to mind? I know what comes to my mind. I can smell this through the box. This is crazy. You listen. You guys can't see her, right? But smell that. Can you smell that? Oh yeah. You can smell that through the yeah. box, boy. Don't get pulled over with this one because you're going to jail. On the front, there's the music festival. All right. So music festivals aren't really. I guess they still are common. I mean, I just I don't go to music festivals. Like, are music festivals still common? Comment below and let me know what's the last music festival that you guys have gone to. I mean, Oh, I guess Coachella is a music festival. <laughs> music festival is like non-existent. Let me stop. All right, so my understanding of this fragrance music festival is, oh, I guess it's right here. <laughs> it's right here on the bottle. It's Woodstock 1969. So that was before I was born. A long time before I was born. So Woodstock 1969 is what this is supposed to put you in the mind frame of. So all of you guys out there who were born in that time frame, were not born there because you wouldn't remember it either. If you were old enough to attend a music festival during this time frame, comment below and let me know if I give you the description. Does it match? Now, this one is a unisex fragrance. That means it's there for male and females. Um, they both could wear this one. The main scent of fragrance description is patchouli and fresh bud. Why, Zerg? <laughs> no, man, not Budweiser. You know what I'm talking about. It's green. All right, so as in traditional replica fashion, this you have the standard bottle. You have this cotton or linen type of label here on the front, and then you have this cotton twined around the atomizer, and that's the end of it, man. You know what happens on all of my replica bottles? This little string, man, this just pulls off. I don't know why. Every one that I have, that happens. Quality control. Let's get into it. I'm going to spray it on paper first, then I'm going to spray it on myself, and let's see if we can dive into the notes. Ooh. 
excellent distribution. So you gotta close your eyes when you smell these to try to get yourself in that mindset of 1969. The music's playing loud, hands in the air. What's, what's that name of that band? Who? Is that, was that, was that the name of the band? The Who? I don't know, maybe that was just from the Animaniacs. <laughs> A popular band is on stage and there's Bud in the air. And this one definitely uh, interpretates that, man. Wow, this is, this is really realistic. Look. Man, this is not like, look, I'm not a smoker, all right? I'm not a smoker, but I can tell you that this isn't the, the low grade, man. This is that good one right here. <laughs> they, they found the finest. <laughs> they found the finest bud plants around to make sure that you were good. So in the opening on this fragrance, I definitely get the cannabis. It's there, it's present, it's loud, it's boom, right there. Followed by some patchouli. There might be some leather in here as well, man. Let me um spray it on skin, see what I get. Oh yeah. On skin, the bud, the cannabis, the dank, the chronic, the sticky, the uh, gelato, whatever they call it now, it's just woo, popping off the skin. Listen, if you look like a questionable person who would get pulled over, don't wear this one, okay? Because you'd be like, oh no, it's just my replica fragrance, and they'd be like, whatever, you're going to jail, buddy. We'll see you in the clink. Better yet, take the bottle with you, man. Take this bottle with you because they're not gonna try to hear that. They're like, yeah, all right, save it for the judge, buddy. No, this is good. This is good, I like it. Um, is it something that you can wear every day? No, I definitely don't think so. I think it's one that's a novelty fragrance. Um, I like it though. Like, you can wear this on a casual day, man. If you don't mind smelling like, you know, cannabis and patchouli and possibly leather, maybe a little spice in here, then, then wear it. Don't wear this to work though, all right? Do not pull this out for a job interview, and this will probably not make a most complimented list unless, unless your friends are a bunch of like, um, we did. Is there a bunch of potheads? Then this could be a most complimented fragrance to you. Like, oh, what's that? That's, that's just my cologne. Like, yeah, like I just walk around smelling like weed, baby. Then, um, you might want to go for this one. That's my initial thoughts on this one. What's that, 1969? Like, I would imagine there were a lot of hippies back then that was partying free life. Listen, man, you, listen, I understand, we were all kids at some point. Listen, man, you ain't got to act crazy now. Like, I know, I know that back in the day, you was toting, baby. You was toting, and listen, man, this might be just reminiscent, you know. Tell your kids, like, Father's Day, just go out there and get me some uh, music festival. Just tell them it's just going to take you back to your childhood. Um, I like it. If you got kids, you probably don't want to wear this around them, right? I would probably wear this when my kids are in school. Let's say you work for yourself, man. You own your own business. Um, or you're, you're remote a lot. And this is one that you can get away with. If you're a free spirit, then pull this off, man. I like it. Will I be wearing this? Yes. Can you confirm that I will be wearing oh, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm high already. <laughs> can you confirm that I will be wearing this? Yes, because I have these weekly fragrance rotation videos. And if you haven't seen the last one, I think that was, what, number four? Boom. You didn't see number four. No, go go look at it after this one. Um, I talked to Kevin Samuels, man. He was going to go grab this one, um, and he probably will get his review up here shortly. But I just want to give you guys a first impression when I talk about, you know, how it wears, how it projects, the feedback that I get from this one. I'll put in the work and let you guys know. Um, is this your summer and spring or year-round scent of choice? I mean, you guys probably already walk around smelling like this without the frigates. Comment below and let me know. If you guys are looking to find this one, um, it might be available in your local Sephora. Listen, where I am, my Sephora doesn't have much from, especially in terms of replica. Um, they had this one, which there were only three bottles left. I could have swore the other day when we were there, I saw it on the counter. There might have been like 20 bottles there and there were like four left. I grabbed this one, which left three. So, um, it's selling, it seems like. So you guys might wanna get out there and get your nose on it. It's a nice fragrance, I like it. Um, maybe in the future, this one and Smoke for the Soul will go for a head-to-head -head battle um, because my wife was trying to coerce me into getting Smoke for the Soul once again. So, let's see. Comment below and let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. Have you tried this? Are you going out to get music festival? Cause I was excited to see it, to see if it will put me in that mind state and yes, Replica, you guys delivered once again. Boom. I'm your boy, Big Ben B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends that, woo, we're getting high over here, baby. And hit the goddamn bell.